Okay, you know it is a crazy world we live in when NVIDIA does pretty much everything in their power to silence any news about their new video cards. Like I've said in my videos, they told me there wasn't going to be any new video cards anytime lately. Jensen went on stage, he said the same thing. No new video cards are coming out. Well, it seems like honestly you folks were right and I was wrong in that Honestly, a lot of that stuff just seems to be a smokescreen because now we're seeing crazy stuff. Right now, there's actually an 1180 for sale on a Vietnamese website. That's right. Now, the card that's rumored to be on sale is the ASUS Strix card, which is actually one of the most top of the line cards. You know that when it says Strix on it, it's meant for gaming. It's top of the line, showing three fans, showing spec, showing everything else with a price tag of $1,500. And here comes the dog rattling his bone, making noise. But uh, that's just crazy stuff. Now. Ian from Anantec has also already officially said that there's been an invite that's gone out from NVIDIA to invite people to go to GamersCon in Germany. Now, I got this same invite. Now, what exactly is going on there? I don't know, but probably chances are pretty good that they're probably going to announce the 1180 and the 1170 at that particular time. So anything that we're really telling you right now is still pretty much speculation. There's been nothing official from NVIDIA as of yet, but you guys have seen websites around the world have been rumoring this for a long time. And I pretty much tried to avoid those rumor, you know, things as much as possible. But now it seems that these rumors are actually coming true. So let's real quick, let's see what's being touted right now as the specs for the new 1180 and for the new 1170. So from what we're seeing so far, the GPU is the GT104. Now this is part of the Turing architecture. It's running at 200 watts and manufactured with a new 12 nanometer process. It's going to have 3,584 CUDA cores, 224 TMUs, which are texture mapping units, 16 gigabytes of GDR6. Now this is new architecture memory. The memory is also supposed to be clocked at 14 gigahertz, which is GDR6 effective, which works out to 409.6 gigabytes of memory bandwidth. 13 teraflops of power, 256-bit memory bus. Now that particular part really doesn't make any sense. I would imagine that on a card that's this powerful, it's going to have probably a 512-bit memory bus. So I think this particular thing is probably actually wrong. And like I said, this card right now is supposed to be $1,500 with an availability of September 28th. Now that particular part sounds like it might be real. And the reason I say that that particular part might be real is it does seem from most of the rumors that we're going to see the cards that are directly from, you know, NVIDIA, the Founders Edition cards, we're going to see those cards first. And then probably a month to 45 days after that, we'll actually see the aftermarket cards hitting the market. But that may not be true. I mean, for one thing, we're seeing a box, we're seeing specs, we're seeing a price, we're seeing a link. So all that information may be completely wrong and the information that we're seeing on the Vietnamese website might actually be true. Now, how true it actually is, nobody's going to know, obviously, until NVIDIA officially announces these video cards and says, hey, they're gonna come onto market. Now, one thing I wanna speculate right off the bat, $1,500 for a video card? I mean, come on. That price is just outrageous. Honestly, here in America, you can get yourself a cheap car for 1,500 to 2,000 bucks. I believe G the Cameron even bought a car a few years back for like two grand and used it for like two or three years. So you can almost buy a car for that. And probably, I don't know how other countries are, but it's probably the, the same thing as the money translates around. For that amount of money, you can buy a new car. Well, not a new car, but a used car. You can buy yourself a new car, but it'd be a used car but new to you. Yeah, that's that, that's what I mean. Now that's just insane. Now, reportedly though, it's supposed to be double digit numbers as far as performance goes. Now, if this translates across the board, and that would be basically saying that if you're getting 60 frames per second in a game now, well, you're gonna get 120 frames per second with that same game with the new video card. And if that actually happens, that will be incredible numbers. And honestly, I don't know if AMD has anything up their sleeve or on the market that's 
anywhere near competing with that level of performance. I know AMD fans are going to be like, oh yeah, hey, AMD's got something up their sleeve for sure. They're going to come out. They're going to win. We always hear that. But do we ever actually see that? Even with the new Ryzen CPUs that came up, they've closed the gap with Intel CPUs, but they haven't completely overtaken them yet. Now, some people speculate if you overclock it, you do this, you do that, you can get better performance. But out of the box performance, which is what most people do, you're not going to see those numbers translating into beating anything. It comes close, but it doesn't beat it. And if Nvidia does release these cards and the speculation is true and they have double digits on performance and everything, even though the card's not worth 1500 bucks, it's still probably worth around eight or $900 for being the top of the line card. Now, there's also the new 1170 and here's what we've heard about that so far. Now the GTX 1170 will reportedly run with 2,688 CUDA cores, 168 TMUs, 8 to 16 gigabytes of GDR6 VRAM and 9.75 teraflops of power. But like I said, everything right now is completely speculative. We don't know if these are the facts, but still those numbers do sound good. So at the end of the day, I have to agree with you guys, the audience. I honestly think that Nvidia just put up a giant smokescreen and in a way that kind of hurts my feelings. I feel like I have really good personal relationships with the people at Nvidia, but like many of you said, they're going to defend their NDA and defend their card probably till the day it comes out. So until, you know, Germany happens and possibly they announce it there, it's all just, you know, rumors in the wind. Now, unfortunately I have been invited to this event in Germany, but I have a giant hole in my foot, which is it's, it's causing me a lot of pain and I can barely walk. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to make the Germany trip, which is highly unfortunate because I was hoping I'd get me and the cameraman out there and we could cover the event. But it looks like that particular event in person, I'm going to miss. But it does seem like from every rumor out there and everything is actually pointing to, this is when they're going to officially announce these new video cards. Hopefully the cards will be available for review right after that so we can bring you guys the reviews of these cards, get rid of all the BS, all the hype, and only stick to the facts and see what these cards are all about. Now, from the rumors though, I am really hoping that these cards perform at double digits than their predecessor. I mean, if I can get an 1170 and get double digits over my 1070, that will just be amazing. And the same thing with the 1080. If I can get an 1180 and it's going to be double performance, that's going to be awesome. And let's just face it, we haven't even talked about the TI editions, which will obviously probably come later. And those editions will be even faster. You guys know how Nvidia does stuff. They release the cards, they get these, they max out that driver. They boost the card up a little bit more, give it more performance, release it as a TI edition, make more money and keep the card going for a while. Now, the really crazy thing about all of this is between the 1080 and the 1180 launch has been the longest delay in releasing a new video card in Nvidia's history. They've traditionally released new video cards every year all the time like clockwork, usually around or a little bit earlier in the year. That way they can get the summer traffic. But now this is going to be announced really kind of right in midsummer instead of the beginning of summer. And I'm honestly looking forward to see what Nvidia has under their hood. But for now, all this stuff, like I said, is still speculation. But the fact is that since there is a card that's available for sale on a Vietnamese website, and I know these guys have broken NDA and probably Nvidia is probably shooting them hellfire and burning them at a pit of stakes right now, that still shows that there's got to be some fact to these rumors. So even though there's rumors, I don't think you have to take them with a complete grain of salt. A little grain of salt, yeah, but I think these cards are coming. I think we're going to see them very soon. And um, that's that, man. Like, for sale in Vietnam, though? Why Vietnam? That's just kind of crazy. Anyways, we'll have links down below to the original articles. We thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, hopefully these news cards will be here right around the corner, and we can get our hands on them here at Tech of Tomorrow to bring you guys the test results and see what they're really all about. Peace.